Jess, I need advice from you and your sisters because my wife is driving me crazy. I live in the UK with my wife, who's a nurse. We got married in June 2020 and planning to have our and are planning to have our first child. I love children so much that I can't wait to be a father. My wife has made me believe she shares the same sentiments, but I'm beginning to doubt that. Jess, can you believe that I've never had sex with my wife when she's in her fertile window? She suddenly becomes disinterested in sex when she's ovulating and only gives me sex when there's no chance of her conceiving. I buy her ovulation test kits at her request. She does the test when she thinks she's about to ovulate, tells me about it, but will refuse to let us use that window of opportunity. I've complained a thousand times and all she tells me is that she experiences spots of blood just before or during her ovulation so she wouldn't have want to have sex because it will be messy. I find that excuse crappy because I've done my research about that extensively and it's completely normal. I've paid money to consult with specialists in the reproductive, reproductive health of women and they all say it is normal. I've shown the reports to my wife but nothing has changed. I'm beginning to lose interest in making love to her because what's the point when all I get from it is pleasure? Please advise because I'm really frustrated and that's coming in from Worried K. Olivia, <laughs> you know I'm, I'm coming to you, right? Uh, Let's go. So, um, my guy, you can't give up. You can't give up. I know it's tough. I know it's hard, but you can't give up. Give up. You need to take it one day at a time. I love the fact that you did say that, you know, you still find uh, making love to her pleasurable. It's different if you don't find it pleasurable. The only thing is that you want it to end up being, you know, something tangible, which is the ultimate um, of consummating every, every marriage, which is to have children. And she doesn't want to have children. The, the question is, so have you guys, like, she gave you the, the assumption that she's cool when mm. it comes to having children, right. but now when she push has can come, have it, exactly, now no, she doesn't okay. want to have it. But I think that you need to do it again. Have her sit down with her and ask her, okay, how else does she plan on you guys having babies? Because if she doesn't want to have babies the right way because she's going to be bleeding, then like Charlie, I think that she's being very insensitive towards your needs. And um, this is what I think you can do. You know, just after your wife has a period and between that time and the time that she actually um, ovulates, hmm, right after she has a period, you know you can actually have sex with her and you can still have a bit of the sperm lingering around and she could still get pregnant. I don't know if you've actually thought about that, but that's something to look at. Just after she has a period, don't go into the whole conversation. You know, we have to wait till the D-Day when you're ovulating to have sex because right now she's coming up with all sorts of excuses not to be intimate with you. So just have sex as normal. Have sex, you know, right after she has a period, let her be consistent over and over and over again. And then, you know, you never know. It doesn't necessarily have to be on that particular day. That's the first choice. The second thing I think you can actually do will be to, um, I don't know, have a chat with her parents. Have a chat with mom. I hate this, but if push comes to shove and there's nothing else on this planet you could do, have a chat with her mom, depending on your relationship with her. Have a chat with her mom and tell her mom that, Charlie, this is where you are at. You really want to have kids. You are so sure that she wants to see her grandkids. But the wife says no. So you have no idea as to what to do in order for them to have their grandchildren. So this is the situation. If they can chip in to help, why not? Mm. And then, I don't know, take it from there. But I don't think you should give up. I don't think it's a lost case. I think that you can take it one day at a time. Don't let the conversation be heavily centered on the day of ovulation. You can have sex before, right after ovulation, and hope for the best. You know that half the time, yes, 
it's good to have sex on the day of ovulation, but you can also have, you know, there's a, the app I use all the time. It's called the period app. You, should, you can check it out. You don't necessarily always get pregnant. Well, it's a good opportunity to get pregnant on the day of ovulation, but there are other options. There are low chances of pregnancy, which doesn't necessarily mean that she you won't can't. get pre right. pregnant. Mm. So she can get pregnant, like I was telling you, right after her period. You can still have some semen flowing in there. That could actually get her pregnant. Right. So there are other options to look at, but don't give up. Take it one day at a time. Get somebody who can actually talk to her to make her see that, Charlie, you actually want to have babies because how else are you going to have babies without that? You know, forget right. it. All right, Savvy, weigh in for me. I mean, what are your thoughts on this whole thing okay. going on? I'm sorry. I'm the other side of love. I'm the other side. I feel like we've forgotten something very important here. And one of the things is, what does she want? Okay. Um, he says she's a nurse. I'm assuming that if she's making all these excuses, one, she either doesn't want children, or two, she's not ready. Right? Did he say how long they were married for? I can't remember that. Yeah, yeah. Um, 2020. No. Well, they got married in 2020. So it's, yeah. It's been it's a couple of months. Yeah. Mm. They've been married for Since one June. year. Yeah. This, this, this person has her own ambitions in life. This person is her own person. The I'm feeling, just my gut, is that she's trying to avoid it and hoping that he's going to stop asking. I'm also very bothered by his comment of um, sex. Uh, what's the point of having sex if it's just enjoyable? Excuse me, my guy. I, you know, it, I'm almost I'm almost touched by that statement because sex is not just to procreate. Number three, who's going to look after that child when that child is born? Are you expecting your wife to give up her job? What does that look like? Are you willing to wake up? Are you willing to change nappies? Are you willing to raise the child together with your wife? Or is your mind just on, I want a baby? This is the... This is what I'm thinking. This is my age. This is what I think life should be. And that's it. So I'm, I'm not sure because I don't know what conversations that they've had. But for me, I would say there needs to be a compromise in place here. Mm. They need to walk through it together. And they need to talk about what she wants versus also what he wants. And he also needs to realize that not now doesn't necessarily mean not ever. Do you know what I mean? And this, there needs to be a difficult question asked here. If she, if it comes to a point where she says, listen, actually, I don't want children. Is he willing to give up his relationships for kids? Is he willing to give up his dream of his marriage? If he does, if he decides that he wants kids and meets someone else. There's still, I feel there's still so many questions and compromise and conversations that need to happen. Uh, before he just makes up his mind and he goes, I don't want to make love to my wife because she doesn't want to give me kids. There's a reason behind the behavior. She's a woman and she's also a nurse. So uh, the excuse that he's saying he's given, I feel like it's an excuse that he, she's given him hoping that he doesn't know any better. Either because she doesn't want to deal with it right now, right? Or she doesn't want to have kids. I don't know what the conversation was before they got married in regards to what their life looks like. Well, but there's a gap in place. Yeah. She did say that, um, well, he did say that she made him feel like they were on the same page, mm. you know? She said mm -hmm. she had the same sentiments were his words. They need, to, they need to go back to the drawing board, but there's an issue here. Cool. So, right. I definitely feel like she doesn't want kids now. I don't know if never, but right now, she doesn't want kids. Mm. Yeah, that's quite obvious to me. Um, Rosina, mm -hmm. what do you think? I, I so completely disagree with Olivia. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I kept shaking my head. I was cringing. And there's no way you can get pregnant right after your period. There's no way sperm can linger on a heart to ovulation. There's a period. For some people, it's 12 to 14 days. If you're very fertile, you can have people from 8 days to like 14 days. It varies. But immediately after sex, some, I mean, let's not, you know, sell that. So that maybe people will think that right after that period, when you speak with someone, the person will have sex. That's one. You Number two, get pregnant, Charlie, you, you see? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Number two, you see, when you get, why did they get married to begin with? You see, marriage, like um, um, <clears throat> she said, it's not all about having children. 
you see it's a whole lot i mean the, i mean there's, there's a whole there's there's a whole lot to marriage than just having children and number two having children is not even a given she could actually have sex during ovulation and actually still not get pregnant there are so many dynamics but then when you get married june 2020 then february 2021 and i'm thinking that okay fine then if that's the case then it's possible that they've been married for probably just about um six plus two eight months mm -hmm. so for the past eight months all you keep talking about is ovulation let's have sex ovulation let's have sex ovulation, let's... look you're gonna get you're gonna get on my nerves then for me i start asking myself ah, is it only because of childbearing yes i like children you also love children but let's do it naturally let's take our time if i have a problem around ovulation let's try and sit together and solve the issue out but not when you go and say that oh i've gone and seen certain people they give me tests they said it's normal if somebody is not comfortable with having sex when they are spotting blood it's a psychological issue it's not a normal issue so if somebody else says it's normal it doesn't make it normal for the other lady you need to walk through the process with it it's just eight months and you're already fed up that means that the whole essence of the marriage was to have kids period Number two, have you thought of the aftermath of having kids? Who's going to take care of the kids? Whose life is going to be on hold and all of that? You haven't thought of that. So that's what I think. Give yourselves a break. You guys have just gotten married. Maybe just enjoy the marriage. When your wife feels that you are supportive of her, most likely she's going to allow herself to have that intimacy with you, even during ovulation, because then she will feel like, oh, let me do this for my husband. But if you're on my case, you are calculating my it's ovulation, let's do it. It's ovulation. You're eight months into marriage. Hey, then what if she does ovulation one? It doesn't happen. Ovulation two, she doesn't have then you are somebody I think will declare your wife immediately as barren. Meanwhile, psychologically, she's not ready. And the mind plays a big role when it comes to getting pregnant, also, because there are people who have nothing wrong with them, but because they are overly anxious, it just doesn't happen. Now, check this. What if you had a problem satisfying her? Or you had an erectile dysfunction or something and she kept going on and on me and my sex i like it rough i like it hard me i like it this i like how would you feel as a man so i think that look marriage is more than having kids marriage is more than like there's so much there's so much that goes into marriage so um i hope you married her for the right reasons and take your time with her talk to her night let her know that you love her and you want her if she needs time you give her time to come to it but in that process of giving her time at least you are lucky that the sex she gives you but you enjoy it you see you enjoy it so it's not a matter about her not wanting to be with you it's just her gradually getting over the stumbling blocks that she has as for talking to the mother please you are not married to her mother you are married to her you are married to her you see certain issues saying you don't take it too much outside of your eight months if eight months where you complain to your mother about about your wife not having sex with you at ovulation, can you imagine? Me as your mother in law probably worried. Hey, I didn't. You understand? So I think that take your time with her and show her love in spite of. Mm. And as women as we are, once the emotions are right, once she can give you enjoyable sex, it means that the emotions are still there. There may be some underlying issues, but she can't tell you because you're overly anxious. Mm. So take your time with her. Relax, relax with her. And who knows, she may actually give in during ovulation and you guys both of you may be happy. But Charlie, it is not rock, it's not Charlie, giving better is it's not being so so please before <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, Charlie. Okay. Um so I hear what you ladies say. However, I think I'll just jump to Olivia's defense slightly yes. on um, the matter of not being able to get pregnant right after sex. I think it, it varies from woman mm. to woman. There are some women who don't do the twenty eight day cycle. Mm -hmm. It's really yeah. short. Their cycles like come 23 days, sometimes even 22. 25. Yeah, 20. 25. So with such women, yeah. it is possible mm -hmm. to, to get pregnant right after your period. Mm -hmm. So I just say that. But um, that being said, I think that there's... Uh, he's, he's written to us because he f I, I get the feeling that perhaps there was some kind of agreement that was made before the marriage. Exactly. Um, maybe not explicitly, mm -hmm. but... Maybe he talked about kids a lot, mm -hmm. you know, before they got married. And yeah. so, and the woman also was like, yeah, because yeah. she wanted perhaps to get married as well, was also like, yeah, 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 we should totally have like a football team exactly. kind of thing. And then, 
he's coming to the marriage and he's not getting exactly. that same vibe. Yeah. I, I feel like that's why he wrote to the show. Exactly. Um, so without it, it making him sound like selfish and mm -hmm. it's all about him and um, this whole ovulation thing, I think maybe there's something to say for him because yeah. if your expectations have been raised so high, exactly. you know, you can't help but feel disappointed to this extent that you're right to a TV mm -hmm. show or radio show. Um, 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 unless of course it was, it was, it, it was something that really, dis you know, disappointed you. I, I, I hope I'm making sense. Yeah. So for me, I kind of get it when he says that he's losing interest in his wife because maybe he places that, that high a premium on, on childbearing. Mm -hmm. And I get it. Marriage isn't just about that. <clears throat> and and I, indeed, I disagree with people who make it about that because what if you get married and you cannot have children, mm -hmm. which is a high probability as well. You know, what then holds you together? But, um, I mean, if he's frustrated, I think the conversations need to be had. Yeah. The woman needs to be drawn in, you know, and, and let's see where things can go from here. He should be able to lay his cards clearly on the table and say, you know what, wifey, this was actually my plan. I thought we were on the same page here. What's happening? Okay, are you not ready? Do you not want to have kids now? Is there an issue? Is there something, a hurdle we need to jump? Mm. Maybe you want to settle in your new job properly. I mean, what's going on? Communicate with me because this behavior does not mm -hmm. work. You know, and, and, and I feel like if they have that you know, proper conversation, this would move forward as opposed to stagnating and him feeling frustrated or one party fe feeling less loved because mm. suddenly their expectations haven't been met. So let me just put that out there. Um, also, <laughs> let me read a couple of comments. Um, Penny says, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, call her down, uh, lay it down to her, be firm, tell her to make up her mind. If she doesn't want kids, she should be honest so you can advise yourself. Either give her a deadline to that effect. Well, I'm not sure about a deadline, but still, I think you should let her know. Maxford says, um, dialogue is the only way here. You think she shares the same sentiments, but au bois. Even if you drug her and get her pregnant, she will take... And you mentioned the name of a drug. Says, my brother, you've, you're done for. This kind of barrier, either you dig and go under it, or you get a vault like the pole vault event and jump high <laughs> over the crossbar. I'm serious. Uh, Sarah says, this world, no balance. Total dishonesty from the wife. This is the reason most men will cheat to test their fertility okay. if that is what the so-called wives are doing. So sad. I'm a, an ungrateful wife and she lacks character. Oh, okay, tell that's me. rather really? harsh. But um, yeah, Amma says, women, Asemo, you pray for a husband. When you get one too, you plan to frustrate him. Why? What is preventing her from giving birth? It's nine months. Is it the nine months of frustration? It's normal, my dear. Take it now or leave it. <laughs> well, there are actually women who do not want to have children. Yeah. But that's my true. thing is, if she's one of those women, she then she should have it. said it. Exactly. She should not have tricked this guy exactly. into walking her down the aisle, knowing what he wanted. That's what I feel. Um, Kofi says, I really can't tell if you need advice on how to overcome the situation or the reasons behind her actions. From your narrative, it's clear she's not ready to have kids. But the why should be answered by you. If you don't know your wife enough to get such answers from her in a seven-month marriage, then I Pray for your 12-year anniversary. Don't go impregnate another lady all in the name of wanting a kid because it'll come with its complications in the future. Nana says she's not ready to have a baby now. She was happy about the idea initially, but something ticked her off along the way. Remember, it's her body. She bears the child, the pain, the hormonal changes involved, and her work life will come to a standstill. Marilyn says... It might be she's not ready to have a baby yet or there's a problem somewhere. I suggest mm -hmm. you talk to your wife and see a counselor. And finally, Agnes says, very odd behavior. You two need to be talking more as there could be something putting her off about having a child with you. Alternatively, could she be barren and aware mm -hmm. she can't have children? So using a different ploy to send the message across. Does she want the marriage and want to remain with you? Is she planning to check out? Obviously, there's a reason for her actions, but your best bet is to forget about children entirely. Don't discuss it anymore. When she gives you sex, fine. If you don't get it, so be it. I'm not happy at all about the restrictions, etc. It can be too limiting for both of you, so she should rather do family planning. Consider seeing a therapist jointly if she would love to attend. Good luck. And those are some of your comments at Sister Sister on City TV and City FM. Your comments are also welcome.
dear viewers, 054-998-6996.